Are your students really putting in that work? Let's talk about it on the Knowledge Dojo. TKD, baby. Hey, what's up? It's Hercules Baxter, back with another episode of Knowledge Dojo. Thanks for joining me. The subject of the day, warm-ups, working out, getting your cardiovascular on. So, I was in a forum the other day, and somebody had posted it that they had a very hard time fitting in warm-ups into their curriculum. And I was amazed by how many people had agreed to that. Going through the post, everyone was like, yeah, we don't do too much cardio. We don't do too much endurance training because they focus on the training itself. Now, the argument that people was making was that people sign up to train in martial arts, not to do cardio work. Really? I find that interesting. And as I kept reading people's posts, they were saying that how they didn't have time to fit it in a schedule. And they, the class was only 45 minutes long. What? I was surprised. 45 minute classes? Man, that's a new thing to me, seriously. I heard about that last year. When I started teaching, I was working for other people, and most of the people that I worked for had hour long classes, hour and a half, hour 15 minutes. The place I was working at last year, we had hour classes, but then they switched from an hour to 45 minutes, which was crazy. And the reason the guy made was that, hey, you can get more classes during the week. You know, we're gonna offer more classes during the week for 45 minutes that you could take. Well, how come they just just do hour long classes during the week? It doesn't it doesn't make sense, you know. And then he was saying, then they were saying that you know, um, it's the it's the latest thing that people everybody's doing it now. And through a quick search, looking around, yeah, I see people's schedules and classes are 45 minutes long. Man, what is going on? When I came up, class was only hour and a half long, every day of the week. You know, what I'm saying sometimes you took two classes back to back. But that's what it was, hour and a half long. So yeah, I can understand you only doing five minutes warm up and you know maybe ten minutes warm up if you only got a forty five minute class. But why is it forty five minutes in the first place? Seriously, look, I know we're living in the age of convenience and everybody want what they want when they want it and how they want it right now. But martial arts is not convenient. It ain't supposed to be convenient. All right, it's supposed to be difficult. It's supposed to be hard. If we make it convenient. What are you doing? If you trained in an hour long class and you was coming up or an hour and a half class as you were coming up, how do you justify teaching a 45 minute class? That doesn't make sense. All right. And the other argument that people was making was that, well, through the training, you get your workout in, you get your exercise in. And that's true. But however, many people are not training that hard. You're not going to train hard for the whole 45 minutes. And yes, we know that the martial arts started with the Shaolin monks doing exercises forms as exercises, you know, the Shaolin Kuang, they started five animal forms to keep them in shape, to keep them healthy and stuff. However, you're not, people are not running classes for 45 minutes, a straight, hard, just back to back, keeping the heart rate up and, and, and pushing themselves, or even for 30 minutes or 20 minutes like that, you know, so, so you're not going to get it that way. You're not going to be at that level to push yourself. All right, so another argument that people were saying was that, you know, if you want high cardio, if you want the cardiovascular workout, then come to the kickboxing class, you know, go to a kickboxing class or something. <sighs> Again, why? If I'm paying you for martial arts, why do I need to go to a gym for cardio or endurance training or strength training? Why do I not just go to that gym itself that has the martial arts and strength training and cardio all in one? It's, don't say you can't do it in a traditional class because it can be done. We did it when we was coming up. And a lot of you guys did it when y'all was coming up. I don't know why y'all stopped. So another argument that people was making is that people don't want to work hard. They don't want to train train that hard. They, not, they don't want to put in that work. One guy has stated that he took a class one time and they spent 15 minutes doing you know sit-ups and push-ups and a lot of kind of steady work. And he felt like it was a waste of his time really you feel you feel like that was a waste of time come on now there's an article from black belt magazine talking about endurance training and strength and training martial arts success revolves around attending physical attributes such as agility flexibility balance coordination and of course strength perhaps the most necessary attribute however is strength endurance better known as muscular endurance why strength endurance as all martial artists find out sparring demands and ability to attack and counter your opponent's techniques time after time. If your strength endurance is low, you will be ineffective. Therefore, a high degree of muscular and cardiovascular efficiency is needed. <sighs> exactly. So, just doing, going through your forms, going through, uh, going through uh, walking the floor, uh, 
just a regular routine in the class and not adding any cardio and strength training <laughs> to the class at all, it's not going to get you on that level. A lot of argument that people were saying, well, you know, if you want to build up the cardio, just spar, you know, do your sparring. Again, you're not going to be sparring for 30 minutes straight. Nobody's, <laughs> you're not doing that. And if you're going to do that, you have to build up to that level. And one way to build up to that level is get cardio workout and a cardio routine in. So I asked a question. Why drop? Why teach a 45 minutes class? What are you guys doing that's so important that you can't give them the last 15 minutes of a cardio workout? Seriously. And to think that people don't want to train hard is a mistake. Because if people didn't want to train hard, they didn't want to put in the work, then why all these CrossFit gyms are filled up? Why all these MMA and UFC gyms are filled up? Filled to the rim. People training hard, doing hard workouts. So for the traditional martial artists to think that nobody wants to do hard workouts and nobody wants to pay for cardio workout and do martial arts. It's not true at all. Because like I said, if it was true, all these other gyms wouldn't be filled to the rim. People wouldn't be training that hard. So people do want to train hard and it makes you an overall better martial artist when you put in the hard work and the cardio work. <clears throat> all right, let's wrap this up. The martial arts, the martial arts does not adjust to the student. The student adjusts to the martial art. Basic, that's what it is. I remember my first day of training. I still remember my first day of training at Kim Studio under Key Wayne Kim. The person who was teaching class was Albert Cheeks. I was about six years old at the time. And he looked at me and said to me, if you get tired, look, step to the side, but then come on back in. And that's what happened. We was knocking out jumping jacks <laughs> back to back. I mean, and I caught a cramp. I couldn't keep up with the guys, but they didn't stop because I couldn't keep up. I had to learn how to keep up with the class. We were doing a thousand jumping jacks, a hundred squats, a hundred punches, a hundred sit-ups and push-ups and all that stuff. And all throughout time, I had to learn how to keep up with them. They didn't adjust to new students. So the martial arts don't adjust to the student. The student adjusts to the art. In this world of convenience where we make things everything easy and convenient for everyone, especially for our kids, you know, you got to entertain your kids in all aspects of life. When you first wake up in the morning, they got to be entertained, putting on their clothes, feeding them and stuff. Taking them to school, they got to be entertained so they can learn, you know, you keep it fun for them, keep it entertaining. They come home from school, mom's, dad still got to keep them entertained, you know, so they find something to do. <laughs> I didn't grow up in that type of world, and a lot of us didn't. There's nothing wrong with the old ways and, 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 and implementing old rules. My entertainment was TV for a while, but we only watched TV for a brief minute because you only had about three channels to watch. And at five o'clock, cartoons was off. There was nothing else to do. You know, was nothing but adult shows on the news. Your mom gave you two choices, take your butt to the room or take your butt outside and play. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you know, you learn how to play with yourself. You learn how to entertain yourself. All right. So I think that the dojo, the dojane is one place where you shouldn't have to entertain children. You shouldn't have to entertain your students. As soon as they walk through the door, it's time to put in the work. It's time to get down. It's time to get busy. We about to hit some cardio. We about to do some strength training, some endurance training. And this is going to make you a better martial artist. After all, we're training people to be better human beings and better people. And the way you do that is through the hard work. Yo, y'all might disagree with me. You might agree with me. Just let me know. All right. Subscribe below. Keep watching. I'll see you guys next week.